Hey my friends, this is Nestor Nidome from the MakeMoneyFromHomeDad.com and welcome to video number two on this Inkscape training uh, series. So what I'm going to do today is actually going to go into the, the, the Inkscape process, okay? So what I'm going to do today is actually going to do shapes when I'm in, in this video. I'm going to teach you how to do uh, simple shapes, uh, that way you can kind of use your imagination and create uh, other other styles, other things that, that you might want to do, okay? So let's go ahead and first go into this one right here. So you have your, your, your shapes right here, and like you have your stars, right? Let me put the color right here. See, you choose the color right here, color, and then I'll go down and make it not be transparent. Okay, the cool thing about it, we're going to start with the star. And, and the cool thing of the star is that you know it'll it'll give you the, the the five points but if you choose it like as you can see if you choose it it'll change the right here okay you can either either change it to this to this type of shape or a this type of shape all right and the great thing is that right here look it has corners so you can make it even more all right this is pretty cool so you can use your imagination like you know hey that's a special or something right and you know you can bring it down if you want to so that's one shape the cool thing about this is that let's say you can click on this one so you can choose and move it around and you can actually right click and then push duplicate and now you have a duplicate right so that's a way to duplicate this and the reason I did that is because they say you wanted to you know you don't want you want it to be straighter or you want it a different one and this is gonna work for any kind of shape or anything that you want uh, any picture is you just double click it I mean sorry uh, let me see you once you click it, then you click it again, and it'll bring up this this type of uh, menu right here. And this one, you can actually do it around, like you know, twist, twist it around. So the reason I want to do that is because you know, let's let's play around with this picture, and you can put it on top of each other. We can actually make it where it, it's it's exactly on top of each other by using these tools that I talked in the first video. Now I'm gonna choose one of the one of the stars. I'm gonna click it again, and then you see. Now I can go ahead and do this. See, as you can see, this is the way that normally I would do it before, right? Uh, before I knew how to do this, I would, I would be like, okay, how many corners do I need, right? But as you can see, this is a, 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 another really nice feature that you can use for other, other types of imaginative, creative, uh, you know, designs. But now what I do is just go into the shape and then I can just go and create this, see? <laughs> and create it like that. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, Again, right here, if you want to be more accurate, you know, uh, this is this is to make it, you know, bigger or, or or smaller, right? And if you want to make it rounder, right? See, see, come all of a sudden, you can see other little shapes. You can play around with this stuff, you know. Just that's how I started to learn. I just started to really uh, learn how to how to do stuff, how to get different shapes by just playing around with these buttons. Don't be afraid to play around with these buttons. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, then go back to the star, right? You can always erase it and start all over with a, oh, actually it keeps it the same. I didn't know that. All right. So see, it's different things. Like I said, I'm not an expert on this stuff. Um, I'm just, I just play around with it and, and just keep, you know, keep doing cool, cool stuff with that. So, oh, there it is. Boom. Five stars. Let's go ahead and put it straight. All right. So then the other shape, the same thing. The other shape is this one right here, and you can make it into an octagon, sec x hexagon, or whatever you want to to do it right, uh, in in a, into a square, or you know, keep going. And the same thing. Uh, this one doesn't have the spoke ratio because it doesn't have spoke, but it has a roundness and then round nice. Okay. So play around with those stuff. That's a pretty cool uh, way to. To, to do those types of shapes. The next one is a circle, right? You can do ovals or you can do like a circle. The way to do a perfect circle is to uh, grab it, you know, choose the picture, right? And the same thing, but you're not gonna notice if you do the wrong, right? But is to come here and unlock this, unlock this, and then just choose this one. So like, let's say 600 by 600. And, oh, sorry. I put 6,000 uh, by 600, and there you go. That's a perfect circle. That's a perfect circle right there that you have. That's the way that you want to create a perfect circle. Once you have the perfect circle, lock it, and that way you can make it bigger or smaller, all right? 
uh, once it's locked and it'll keep its proportions all right so that's a way to create a circle uh, you can you know use your imagination for for certain things right and then let's go ahead and go into the square the square you can do you know rectangles you know you know perfect squares again the same the same concept as a circle if you want a perfect square you know just unlock it unlock it and then you know do the for perfect square and now you have a perfect square to lock it up and then you do proportions okay uh so let me see then then you have like spirals right here you have like spirals right here right pretty cool uh you can do how many turns you want them to make you know you can make it uh the you know the divergence right here right you can do that's pretty cool i really don't use spirals but you know i just want to show it because it has it i really don't use spirals but you know maybe you want to use spirals and then you have this uh this one right here where it creates like a like perfect lines right like the like perfect straight lines and and the cool thing about this tool is like you can create like different shapes now right look see and then if you push it if you left click uh two times it'll it'll stop it right the cool thing about this and then you can use this one this this tool right here after you created that and and you can start moving it around see to wherever you want to to make the shape so this was very creative if you are very creative you can actually start you know shaping stuff around right and the cool thing is that so let's say for instance you want it you can just you know double click on it i mean double click like wherever you want here so let's say so if i mean not double click but single click and then you can just do this see so if you single click on it wherever you want you can actually start curving this and what these ones do is actually move moves it from just from this point right and you can actually grab it from like this point or from you know this point as you can see this this little tool right here uh is pretty cool if you want to create very elaborate um shapes all right and you can just play around with this stuff it's very fun to play around and be able to just kind of get it to where you want to get it in, in pretty cool you can create more points like these so let's say if you wanted a point you double click it and now you have another point here see now you have another point that, that you can actually move right uh, double click it here you can do a lot of like double clicking double clicking and that creates like a bunch of little little things pretty cool tool uh, I've used this tool for other stuff uh, very cool I love it I love it I'm gonna show you in, an, in another video uh, how you can use this tool for uh, something pretty cool all right so I'm gonna show you how to do this tool to you know cut pictures and and in the next in another video so let me go ahead and erase that uh, so as you can see that those are pretty cool uh, tools some of the other tools uh, I really don't know how to use so I really can teach you like I like I told you I'm not an expert I'm just showing you what I do this these this video series this training video series is for the non-expert, the beginner, the, the person who, you know, has a little bit of an artistic uh, taste to it, to themselves, but, you know, doesn't, you know, really can afford to make pictures. Like you see, like if you saw the, the first video, those pictures that I do, I, I block daily. So imagine, you know, how much would it cost for me to have a graphic designer creating those pictures every single day? And then how long would it take for those pictures? Because, you know, I would have to be contacting him or her and be like, hey, you know what? I want this picture. I wanted to say this and this and that. And then, you know, them send it to me. It's like, oh, I don't like it like this. I want it like this. And, oh, man, it would just be a hassle to create those pictures with a graphic designer. But that's a an initial way to create shapes here all right just use your imagination play around with the system and see what you can come up with and like always if you do have some questions uh that you're particularly stuck on you can go ahead and uh, comment on on this blog post uh, and i'll try my best to answer it okay like i said i'm not an expert i we really, i know this tool but maybe like 10% because it has so much stuff, right? But I will try to do my best to be able to really, really deal with the with, with those questions that you might have. And if you do know uh, more about how to do certain things, you know, more than welcome to put that in the blog post so all of our viewers can benefit from that. All right, my friend? So with that, that is this is the, the shapes video. And I will see you on the next video when I'm going to go ahead and teach you something else. Like, all right. So thank you so much, my friend. This is Nestor Diome from the Make Money from Home I'll catch you on the next video.